Voyager 2 launched 46 years ago in 1977, carrying with it humanity's hopes and dreams. It embarked on a mission to explore the outermost planets of our solar system. But these days, the intrepid spacecraft is best known for crossing the heliopause and becoming the second man-made object to enter interstellar space. Now, Voyager 2 is transmitting weak signals to Earth about its surroundings in the vast expanse beyond our Sun's protective embrace. And recently, it sent us something else, a strange garbled transmission that turned out to be extremely important. But before we talk about that, allow me to introduce myself. I'm here to help you think better so you can feel better. And if that sounds interesting, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. In December of 1989, Voyager 2 crossed the orbit of Neptune, finally entering the region of space dominated by the ice giant's powerful magnetic field. To protect the spacecraft's sensitive electronics, its scientists placed it in safe mode, shutting down many of its instruments to reduce electrical power consumption and minimize exposure to radiation. However, in November of 2013, while monitoring its systems, Engineers discovered that some of the equipment had automatically powered on in spite of being switched off during Neptune flyby. In particular, the camera, magnetometers, and plasma sensors were found to be turned back on. Although these instruments were deactivated to safeguard them from Neptune's harsh environment, they were inexplicably back online. Additionally, other components such as the attitude control system had also become active without authorization. This unusual behavior raised concerns as it indicated a potential problem with the spacecraft's memory core, which manages its operational parameters. If the memory core was malfunctioning, it could lead to serious issues in the future, potentially compromising the integrity of Voyager 2's systems and jeopardizing its ability to continue operating in deep space. Furthermore, this incident highlighted the limitations of Voyager 2's technology. As it was unable to diagnose the root cause of the problem, engineers relied on sophisticated error codes transmitted by the spacecraft and the team's expertise to determine the nature of the issue. The situation underscores the challenges associated with maintaining aging spacecraft and the importance of continuous monitoring and maintenance to ensure their longevity and reliability. The engineers managed to fix the issues by manually overriding the faulty systems and restoring them to their original settings. Nonetheless, the unexpected reactivation of Voyager 2's instruments serves as a reminder of the complexities involved in space exploration and the need for robust error handling and diagnostic capabilities. Moreover, it highlights the ingenuity and adaptability of the engineers who continue to find creative solutions to keep these aging spacecraft operational and transmitting valuable scientific data. Now, let's fast forward to January of 2020. After three decades, Voyager 2's instrument was still sending faint signals about our sun's diminishing influence. Then, suddenly, its telemetry data took a strange turn, it was as if the spacecraft's memory had momentarily flickered, revealing a glimpse of its early days. The attitude articulation and control system, the brain that keeps Voyager pointed at Earth, began reporting information through a computer that hadn't been active in decades. The craft was behaving as though it had reverted to its state during the 1970s. This triggered alarm bells among engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory responsible for managing Voyager's operation. They quickly sprang into action, analyzing the anomaly and implementing a fix to prevent further complications. The heart of the issue lay in the spacecraft's outdated backup computer, which had unexpectedly activated, causing confusion and chaos in the normal operations. Upon recognizing the problem, the engineering team swiftly intervened. By rerouting the data through the primary computer, they restored order to the transmission and regained control over the spacecraft. This incident served as a stark reminder of the relentless march of time and the profound impact it has on even the most robust technological marvels. For Voyager 2, this unscheduled detour into its past highlighted both the spacecraft's resilience and the remarkable engineering that has allowed it to thrive for decades beyond its initial lifespan. 
Nevertheless, this episode also underscored the constant challenges faced by NASA in maintaining and operating these aging spacecraft, forcing them to balance preservation efforts with the need for modernization and repair. However, as the years went by and Voyager continued to transmit data from the depths of space, something truly astonishing happened. While engineers closely monitored the spacecraft for any signs of trouble, they noticed something peculiar. Every 74 seconds, the telemetry signal would fade for a split second before returning to normal. At first, this anomaly went unnoticed amidst the constant stream of data. But as the team delved deeper into the telemetry records, they uncovered a perplexing pattern. This periodic disruption wasn't random. Instead, it followed a consistent rhythm, occurring at regular intervals of 74 seconds. This regularity hinted at something more, suggesting an underlying order to what initially seemed like a mere glitch. Intrigued by this discovery, engineers began to investigate further. They scrutinized the exact nature of the interruption, analyzing its duration, frequency, and the specific systems affected. Their goal was to pinpoint the source of this anomaly and understand its implications for the overall health and functionality of the spacecraft. As they dug deeper into the data, they found that the 74-second pulses originated from Voyager's attitude articulation and control system, the component responsible for keeping the spacecraft stabilized and pointed in the right direction. This realization was crucial because it provided a starting point for their investigation. By focusing on this system, engineers could trace the source of the anomaly and hopefully identify a solution. As they continued their investigation, engineers noticed that the 74-second pulses were not present in the telemetry data sent during routine operations. Instead, they only appeared under specific circumstances, such as when the spacecraft was in safe mode or undergoing certain maneuvers. This observation suggested that the anomaly was somehow linked to these states, providing a potential clue to its cause. To unravel the mystery, Engineers conducted extensive tests and simulations, recreating conditions that triggered the pulses in the laboratory. Through these efforts, they hoped to isolate the variables and determine the precise conditions that led to the unexpected behavior. The stakes were high as understanding the root cause of the anomaly was vital not only for preserving the mission, but also for ensuring the safety and longevity of the spacecraft. Any misstep could have unintended consequences, potentially damaging Voyager's delicate systems or compromising its ability to continue transmitting vital scientific data. The team worked tirelessly, poring over countless data points and conducting rigorous experiments until they finally uncovered the truth behind the 74-second pulses. Their discovery was both fascinating and perplexing. The anomaly resulted from a unique interaction between Voyager's aging systems and the extreme environment of interstellar space. Specifically, the spacecraft's inertial measurement unit, a device used for navigation and orientation, was reacting to minute variations in gravity and magnetic fields as it drifted through the vast expanse of the cosmos. This response, although unintentional, created the rhythmic pulsing that had puzzled engineers for months. But there was more to the story. As they delved deeper into the data, they realized that the pulses weren't entirely random. Instead, they followed a discernible pattern, suggesting an underlying order and complexity. The team's investigation revealed that these pulses weren't merely a byproduct of Voyager's journey through space. Instead, they represented a form of communication, a silent dialogue between the spacecraft and the enigmatic space-time continuum itself. The spacecraft was sending back messages that remained hidden beneath the surface of its mechanical hum. As scientists work to decode these messages, they must tread carefully, balancing the desire for discovery with the need to preserve Voyager's legacy. The stakes are high. Unlocking the secrets of these pulses could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, but it could also risk compromising the very systems that have kept Voyager alive for so long. The question remains, what will they uncover, and how will it change our perception of the cosmos and our place within it? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. 
Until next time, keep questioning everything.